Targeting the Huey Cobra is the Army's latest attack helicopter, the AH-64A Apache. This was developed by Hughes, now a part of the McDonnell Douglas Company. The Apache is an angular but effective machine optimized for the battlefield tank killing role. The type possesses the power for high performance over the battlefield with a very impressive warload of missiles and other weapons. The type also possesses powerful and effective flight controls and an extremely advanced suite of sensors for all-weather, low-level operation over the modern battlefield. Here, too, the Apache is aided by a state-of-the-art fire control system for use with the fearsome primary armament. The Apache's most important weapon type is the Hellfire missile, of which 16 can be carried. This is a long-range, fire-and-forget weapon that homes automatically onto a target designated by a friendly laser. Apart from its range of more than 6,500 yards, the Hellfire is notable for its large warhead, which is thought capable of defeating the armor of all current tanks. The Apache also has a powerful 30 millimeter chain gun on a flexible mounting under the fuselage. This has 1,200 rounds of ammunition, sufficient for about two minutes of sustained fire, and provides the Apache with an effective standoff capability against less well-armored battlefield targets, such as armored personnel carriers. Area attack is also possible with 2.75-inch rockets, of which some 76 can be carried in place of the quadruple Hellfire installation. The Apache is notable for its complex avionics and sensor system, including the integrated helmet and display sight system. This is a helmet sight used by both crew members for the rapid acquisition of targets off the flight path. Targets are designated to the fire control system through the slaving of weapons and sensors to the head movement of the pilot or weapon operator. In the nose is the sensor group associated with the weapon operator's target acquisition and designation system. These sensors comprise direct view optics, a TV camera, a laser spot tracker, and a laser ranger designator. Information is fed to a cockpit display or onto the monocle of the helmet sight, allowing the weapon operator to acquire and track either manually or automatically any selected target. On the upper portion of this trainable sensor group is the forward-looking infrared unit for the pilot's night vision system. TAD's information allows full night and adverse weather flight capability and can be switched to the pilot in the event of PNVS failure and the weapon operator has access to the PNVS if required. These sensors are aided by an advanced navigation and flight control system using a simple inertial navigation platform, a Doppler navigation system, and an auto stabilization system. The Apache is also a highly survivable helicopter, notable for an exceptionally strong structure with considerable armor protection and redundancy to withstand hits from ground fire of up to 23 millimeter caliber. Further protection is given by the Apache's radar warning receiver, chaff and flare dispenser, and infrared jammer. These combine with the Apache's nap of the earth flight profile to afford a considerable degree of protection from ground-based defenses. All are features of considerable importance to the Apache, which is an expensive machine designed to operate decisively in a high threat environment. Physical features that also contribute to the type's survivability are the wide spacing of the twin turboshaft power plant, a ballistically tolerant structure for the airframe and rotor system, self-sealing and crash-worthy fuel system, and a number of other advanced features such as a run-dry dynamic system.
All these factors were fully evaluated and proved during the Apache's protracted development, and the result is a capable helicopter which is nonetheless fairly simple to maintain in the field. Major items are readily accessible by means of low height or inbuilt platforms. Considerable internal fuel capacity can be supplemented by external tanks under the hard points, and the Apache can thus ferry itself over considerable distances, such as the route across the Atlantic to Europe. The Apache was also designed with air transport in mind, and can be broken down for movement in aircraft varying in size from the C-130 Hercules tactical transport to the C-5 Galaxy strategic freighter. The future of tactical helicopters is currently at a fascinating stage, and the USA in particular is pushing ahead with the development of several key ideas for the proposed